All right. First things first, this is my theory on the Final Fantasy VII timelines. And also, if you have not completed most of the Final Fantasy games up to now, I suggest you do so, unless you just really don't care about being spoiled. Which, in that case, come on in, I guess. But you have been warned. So, we're going to get into it now. So, this is my, my theory... And we'll start over here in the top left corner. The original timeline is marked with green. The altered timeline, Dead Fate, is altered with, uh, is, uh, marked with red, if I can talk. And the characters that are aware of time altering and shifted events are listed here. Now, Cloud is. A bit of a special case and I'll delve into that later but for now let's start with the original timeline <clears throat> we all know how this goes right and then Sephiroth uh, is a little jaded from being beaten in Advent Children and you know he says his iconic line to Cloud at the end where he's like I will never be a memory and so he's blips into the live stream and he's like well i'll show you 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 little scallywag just so upset of being one up by cloud and that takes us to this new timeline that we're in here so final fantasy 7 remake came out and when you play through it you have these whispers throughout the game and for a little while we weren't completely sure of what they were until we get to the end and we find out that they are a part of fate. But ultimately what happens is Sephiroth basically tricks you into fighting fate and you end up destroying fate. And so that is what changes everything from that point because the reason why they were here in the first place was they were trying to <clears throat> keep everything in line with the first timeline and forgive me if my voice sounds a little weird I am currently sick but I wanted to make this video and yeah so they they were meant to correct this timeline that Sephiroth is trying to alter and ultimately at the end of remake he does succeed in doing that and as you kill fate <clears throat> it kind of alters what we know should have happened and so Zack ends up surviving in Crisis Core Reunion. And so this is our altered timeline. <clears throat> Going into Rebirth. And so the characters that are aware of things being altered are Aerith and obviously Sephiroth. Aerith obviously knows that things have been altered because she is able to to commune with the live stream via being an ancient, right? And Cloud is a bit of a special case. He he um he's not like completely aware of what's going on, but what I believe is happening with Cloud because throughout the game of remake he is having these uh, flashes of things that have already happened in the original timeline. And so what I think is happening to Cloud is because since there is no longer um, fate to correct things, the, the timelines are sort of like collapsing into each other. And I think that he's like 
merging with the original cloud. That's the only thing that I can logically think of of why he is having these visions of certain events that have already happened. And Sephiroth is a bit more of the obvious one. He, um, you know, he instigated everything, basically. And he just doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to be a memory. He wants to change his own fate. And I, I think going into Rebirth, it could be very interesting because Minaki or Red 13's grandfather could also be aware of the time altering and shifted events. And maybe once we go there to Cosmo Canyon, he actually lets the entire group in on like what is actually happening. And that would make a lot of sense, but we'll have to see if it actually happens. I, I do believe this to be correct though, because the original Sephiroth from Advent Children is he's he's a part of the live stream so it would make sense for him to blip back in time and he's like I'm I'm going to change things I'm going to I'm going to get you cloud like you know but I don't think that he was able to account for everything because Zack is now alive and I don't think it's a separate timeline wh where Zack is alive I I think that it is still part of our remake dead fate timeline and you're probably wondering well then where is zach why have we not seen zach in midgar well that's because of the events that happened in crisis core obviously you know there's shinra soldiers everywhere in midgar he can't just be there but what i do think what would logically make sense knowing what zach knows I think he is with Wutai and helping them. That's the only thing that makes a lot of sense to me, where he could go and not have to look over his shoulder every second, wondering if Shinra's after him, if the Turks know, or, you know. And so that, that makes sense to me. And maybe it's... Also a bit of why Yuffie comes to Midgar in the first place. And... <clears throat> that's pretty much all I have so far. But this makes sense to me. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, or things that I may have missed. I know that I'm not like covering everything. I'm just trying to make this very brief and simplified as much as possible. There's definitely like a ton that I could talk about. Uh, a lot happens in Remake, right? Uh, some things that are confusing and uh, don't make sense at the, at the time. But I, I think for the most part, this, this does make sense. And yeah, I, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about this. But I, I think this is pretty, pretty solid. And it, it kind of depends on what happens in Rebirth that determines, you know, a lot of things but also I in rebirth I I think Vincent is going to have a really big role because they're I I'm not trying okay how do I word this I'm not trying to belittle the cast of the main cast of uh, Final Fantasy 7 like Cloud and everyone, they're all really strong, right? We know that. But <clears throat> when you think of uh, enemies like Weiss from Dirge of Cerberus, by the way, I didn't include it here, and I'm getting into that now. Um, 
So Yuffie ends up fighting some enemies from Dirge of Cerberus. And the reason why I think they are woken up in this timeline earlier is because... I, I think they want Vincent to have a larger role in Rebirth. And when I think of it like this, it, it does make sense because Weiss and them are more of like supernatural entities, just like Vincent. It's like kind of like a different power scaling. And I, I feel like Vincent would be more tailored to handle them. If you if you're you know catching what I'm trying to get at, it's it's not that Cloud and them are weak. It's just that these guys are on kind of a different level. Like Sephiroth and Vincent, I see as like sort of like supernatural entities, and <clears throat> they're just like insanely strong, right? And so we'll, we'll see how we'll have to see how Rebirth plays out. But yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys think, what your theories are, and I I would love to talk to you guys about it because I I love Final Fantasy VII and I I'm excited for what's next. It's it's been pretty interesting so far, but I'm Blood Fox. If you're new here, uh, welcome, and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Later, gamers.